Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll show you four ways to, to create a Teams team. So the first way we are in Teams, I'll choose Join and Create a Team. I'll create, press Create Teams, and I have a couple of options. One is from scratch, um, a new one totally, or I can do it uh, based on uh, Microsoft 365 groups or existing sites and I can also use the templates that are offered here or the ones that you create for your company. Let's create a scratch one. You can choose if it's public, private or org wide. Let's choose private. That's usually the, the case. Let's call the team site uh, BBB and um, it will create a team site with the default uh, general tab members we can add later BBB here we are this is the first way second way is actually to do it through SharePoint so I'll uh, go to the office.com uh, home site and we will go to SharePoint and we will actually create a team site that creates a Microsoft 365 group I press create site Communication say it doesn't create a Microsoft 365, so you, you cannot connect it to the team site, only a team site. So let's call it um, 100, 1000, and members I could add later. Press finish. Now, below the navigation, we will see uh, a wizard that we can uh, create from this. SharePoint team site to teamify it actually to have a team. So I'll click here, add Microsoft Teams. I'll click continue. I can choose what pages, lists, or documents I want. Currently, I just press add team. And uh, if I open it in the web, I can open it also in the desktop. You'll see that. Uh, the 1000 team site is now created. Let's scroll down. See with the general term. This is the second option. The third option is through the admin center of um, of Teams. So I'll click the nine dots, go to admin center, and I'll look for the team admin center. If I don't see it, I'll click show all. I'll scroll down and I will look for the Teams Admin Center. On the left, we will see a navigation under Teams. We'll have Manage Teams and we have an Add button that we could actually create the Teams team. So let's call it uh, 2000 and I can assign Alex as admin and I choose if it's public or or public. Click apply and it will create it in a couple of seconds. I'll just pause this uh, video until it's done. Yes, we're back and we see here the team. If I click on it and click open in teams, open it on the web in this case but we can open the desktop. We'll see that the 2000 uh, team site is there and it creates also a SharePoint site, of course. Okay, the last option is actually to create it through the admin center, the general admin center. So I'll click admin. Of course, you need to have permissions and under teams and groups, I'll choose active teams and groups and I can add a group. We'll choose Microsoft 365. Next, let's call this group uh, the team. And I need to put a description. I'll add two owners. I'll add Alex and Adele. You see, uh, you see that the Teams is enabled for them. I'll click Next. Members I can add later. Um, let's 
let's give an email for it let's call it the team uh, let's make it private and if I check this it creates a team for this group let's create press create group and in a couple of seconds we will see the group Microsoft 365 group it says here it, it might take five minutes let's close um, let's wait for a second I'll put on pause okay I'm back you see the team now I see the team status it has this so if I click on it you will see that actually um, the owners and we can uh, add also members in the settings we have some things that we can do we can also mark some email and uh, notifications and uh, if we open in teams we now can uh, see that the team has been created that's it okay so thank you and goodbye